The Ghoulinator, Caden Gooley, has been on an absolute rampage since the preseason began, okay? He looked like the best defenseman out of all the rookies and prospects, and now he looks like the best Canadians defenseman, period. Better than Savard and better than Weidman. That game against the Pittsburgh Penguins was a thing of beauty. Some real mighty fine work by Goo putting up two assists and logging over 24 minutes of ice time. Now, do you want to know who in a Habs jersey had more ice time than that? Nobody, that's who. Because he's deadly and he's ours. And my God, for the first time in years, we finally got a couple of good first round picks in Caulfield and Gooley who actually don't look brain dead out there. It only took all these years. <laughs> Jeez, man, 95% of the Habs first rounders since, like, I was born were pure diarrhea. Now, in today's video, we're going to take a look at some of his work so far since the season began. The majority of these clips are from the Pittsburgh game where he was just filthy. He would pick up a couple of assists in this one, including this greasy backhand pass. Look at this. Right to Nick Suzuki, I mean, not only does this guy provide a mean, steady defense at his own end of the rink, but the guy is no slouch offensively either. Now, as many of you are all aware, I mean, he spent the majority of that game against Pittsburgh shutting down this Sidney Crosby guy. Yeah, might have heard of him. He's a pretty good hockey player. But Goulinator was up for the test. Okay, look at that. Crosby's probably thinking, what? Where the hell did the puck go? Caden Gooley is where the puck went, Crosby. Poor guy's probably as confused as a kid trying to figure out how Grandpa just pulled a loony out from behind his ear. Huh? Has anyone ever did that to you? Well, that's what Gooley just did to Crosby. That's right. And isn't it wild how Gooley went from the OHL right on up to the NHL, shutting down some of the best players in the game in his, well, his first few games of the season. Anyway, good stuff from Gooley all night. Kudos to Marty St. Louis. I mean, this game went to overtime. And who does St. Louis put on the ice, huh? Friggin' Dino Tatar and Sherratt? No! He went with complete offense. He sent out Suzuki, he sent out Caulfield, and he sent out our boy Goulinator. They created a couple of nice scoring chances, Gooley would make a couple of nice plays at his own end of the rink in overtime, and the Canadians went on to win the game, thanks to Marty and Doc. And even if the Habs lost, that was an exciting hockey game to watch. Without a doubt, one of the best ones that I've seen so far this year. Lots of back and forth. Lots of scoring opportunities both ways. I mean, Casey DeHasek over there made a few beauty saves. And the Habs version of Gene Simmons, who's really good with the ladies, Samuel Montembeau, made a couple of beauty saves as well. It was great. Now back to Gooley again, okay? I'm not done with him just yet. I know, it's a small sample size so far, but I don't see this guy going anywhere for a long time. I see him as a top three, top four defenseman on this team, even when they're completely healthy. And uh, that's something to be proud of, because finally, for the first time in years, the Canadians seem to have an excellent crop of defensemen in the system. And for real this time, remember 10 years ago when we thought that the Habs actually had some good defensemen in the system? Well, I'm sorry if I offend anyone, but these guys back in the day were just a skid mark on a fresh pair of white underwear compared to what we have in the system right now. Gooley, Jackeye, Harris, Barron, Mayu, Struball, Norlander, Belbo Baggins down there with all the offense, Lane Hudson. Uh, even freshly acquired Jonathan Honda Civic. Not even Honda Civic looks out of place so far. Everything's looking good for the kids, okay? For the kids. There is a lot of studs in the system right now. And in a few years, you know, if the Habs can just continue growing their forward core as well, then man, I tell you, the future is going to be bright. It's going to be bright. And remember that, okay? When the Habs go on a glorious eight game losing streak at some point this season keep your chin up because in a few years things are going to be different all right everybody shut up that's enough rambling on and uh, when i mean everyone i mean me so here's the scoop tonight the canadians are about to play the arizona coyotes okay the same coyotes that defeated the toronto maple leafs a couple of nights ago god that was great and if somehow the Coyotes defeat the Habs tonight, I am completely fine with that. This is a four-point game, if you know what I mean. Come on. 
So let me know in the comments section your prediction for tonight's game. Let me know your thoughts on Caden Goulinator so far. Keep in mind, we just uploaded episode 2 of our podcast discussing all the Habs games throughout the past week. So if that sort of thing is your bag, baby, okay, I'll leave it in the comments section down below. Don't forget to powerbomb the like button on the way out of here. And hey, I'll see you next time.